Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Beerman and I have the great pleasure in introducing you to the Habits for Planet online course. I've actually just had a really fun morning going through the entire series of lectures that have been uploaded so far and they're brilliant. And they're going to teach you all about the components that make our planet habitable, how these components interact, and when they're changing. I guess a toolbox of sorts of what, how, and when, so that we can better understand our own planet Earth, our home. Now my job today is to not discuss the science. It's to help you figure out why you should care about the what, the when, and the how. Now, I'm currently speaking to you from my living room in Scotland, which is on the other side of the planet, Southern Africa. And I've been here for almost three years to do my PhD on climate change in the Southern Ocean. It's been an incredible experience and a really remarkable opportunity and one that has taught me way more than just about the Earth System Science itself. And what I see here is a country that is facing a very unique set of challenges posed by climate change. And these challenges are being dealt with in-house, which makes sense. The solutions are often really exciting and innovative, but they're really tailored to this country and to the problems. African problems are going to require African solutions. Mainly, I think, because our biggest natural resource is not oil under the seabed or coal under the ground. It's the people on the ground. We are African. We grow up with an understanding of how our country works because it runs in our veins. However, the obstacles that stand in the way of taking this knowledge from inside of us to the outside where it can be shared and applied, well, those problems are numerous and they're real. They are really massive things like poverty and inequality and a lack of access to the most basic resources, including education. And it's education that is key to taking all of this potential inside of us and unlocking it. Climate change is going to affect Africa. We don't necessarily know how those changes are going to express themselves, but we do have an idea thanks to the scientists who are currently studying our Earth systems. But we need to keep exploring. We need to keep watching and understanding how the Africa we know and love today is already changing beneath our feet and above our heads. But we need to catch up too. Because of things like poverty and inequality and lack um, of access to basic resources, we can barely cope with predictable um, variability attributed to, to seasons, to weather, things like flooding and fire and drought. So for all of these reasons, we don't just need your old school kind of scientists in the field. We need environmental lawyers to speak for the voiceless. We need science journalists who can report the truth and do so accurately. And we need environmental economists who care about the ecosystem in balance with the people who depend upon it. We need people who can translate the things that scientists learn to our leaders so that they can be applied effectively. You can be one of those scientists. You can be a lawyer, a journalist, or an economist within Earth System Science. But most importantly, you can be part of the chorus that leads Africa into a changing future so that we can roll with it. Very importantly, so that we can find the opportunities within the changes. Everything that you do now affects our future. And because everything is connected, don't forget that positive change at home means positive change for the rest of the world too. So let us pursue African solutions for African problems and African leadership for our entire habitable planet. Why you should care about the components that make our planet habitable, how they interact and when they change is because that knowledge will empower you. Education and knowledge will show you how to take that thing that beats inside of you outside 
to your fellow human being. You know, I grew up wanting to be a superhero. I wanted to save the planet. And I guess in my own way, every day, I kind of do. And it's exciting. And you, you get to experience that too.